Hey everyone, welcome back to Sunshine Stories for Kids. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our exciting content. Let's get started! The Ant and the Grasshopper in a vibrant meadow, nestled among swaying flowers and tall grass, resided an ant named Andy and a grasshopper known as Gregor. Andy, the ant, was known for his tireless work ethic, while Gregor, the grasshopper, loved to sing and dance, caring little for the future. Andy spent his days gathering food, storing it away meticulously for the upcoming winter. He urged Gregor to do the same, warning him about the harsh season ahead. But Gregor waved away his concerns, dismissing the idea of preparing for winter. Why worry about tomorrow when today is so beautiful? He'd say with a carefree grin, as summer turned to autumn and autumn to winter, the meadow transformed. The once lush landscape became barren, and a bitter cold swept through the air. Andy had a stockpile of food, neatly stored in his underground burrow, ensuring his survival through the winter months. On the other hand, Gregor found himself with nothing to eat and nowhere to seek refuge from the biting cold. Realizing his mistake, Gregor approached Andy, humbled and ashamed. I should have listened to your advice, he confessed. Andy, though disappointed, couldn't bear to see his friend suffer. He shared his provisions with Gregor, teaching him the importance of preparation and hard work. Moral, preparation and hard work ensure a secure future. The Tortoise and the Hare In the heart of the forest, a boastful hare named Harry challenged Timothy, a slow-moving tortoise, to a race. Confident in his swift speed, Harry scoffed at the idea of Timothy keeping up. The race commenced, and true to his nature, Harry dashed ahead, leaving Timothy far behind. Feeling overly confident in his lead, Harry decided to take a break and nap under a shady tree, convinced victory was assured. Meanwhile, Timothy, the tortoise, continued plodding along at a steady pace, undeterred by Harry's initial lead. As the sun began to set, Harry woke up, realizing his mistake. He sprinted towards the finish line, only to find Timothy already there, calmly waiting. Timothy had won the race through perseverance and unwavering determination, teaching Harry a valuable lesson about consistency and humility. Humbled by his defeat, Harry acknowledged Timothy's strength and pledged to be more respectful in the future. Moral, slow and steady wins the race. The Lion and the Mouse In a vast savanna, a mighty lion named Leo and a tiny mouse named Millie formed an unlikely bond. Leo, out of sheer kindness, spared Millie's life one day when she inadvertently crossed his path. One afternoon, as Leo lay asleep under the shade of an acacia tree, he was captured in a hunter's trap. Hearing Leo's distressed roars, Millie scurried to the scene. She recognized her chance to repay Leo's act of mercy and immediately started gnawing through the thick ropes of the trap. With patience and determination, Millie managed to free Leo, who was immensely grateful for the mouse's courageous act. Leo learned that kindness knows no bounds and that even the smallest creatures can make a significant impact. From that day forward, Leo and Millie's friendship grew stronger, 
serving as a reminder that acts of kindness, no matter how small, can create profound connections. Moral, kindness is never wasted. The Boy Who Cried Wolf In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, lived a mischievous boy named Peter. Peter found amusement in playing pranks on the villagers, particularly by crying out wolf to alarm them, giggling as they rushed to his aid. The first few times, the villagers rushed to the boy's aid, only to find there was no wolf. Chuckling, Peter found joy in the villagers' bewilderment. However, his laughter diminished as the villagers grew wary of his false alarm. One day, a real wolf appeared on the outskirts of the village, and Peter, genuinely frightened, cried out for help with all his might. But this time, the villagers, assuming it was another prank, ignored his pleas. The wolf wreaked havoc, causing chaos as Peter watched in horror regretting his dishonesty. The villagers afterward explained the importance of honesty and trust. They forgave Peter, but the incident taught him a valuable lesson about the consequences of deceit and the importance of honesty, especially in times of need. Moral of this story is that, always be honest. The crow and the pitcher. Amidst a scorching desert, a clever crow named Clara encountered a pitcher with a small amount of water at its base. Thirsty and desperate, Clara peered inside, but the water level was too low for her to reach. Clara didn't lose hope. Instead, she collected small pebbles nearby and started dropping them into the pitcher, one by one. With each pebble she dropped, the water level rose gradually. She continued until the water was within reach, quenching her thirst. Clara's ingenuity and resourcefulness not only saved her from thirst, but also served as a lesson that even the most challenging situations can be overcome with clever thinking and persistence. The clever crow flew away, carrying with her the wisdom that intelligence and perseverance are powerful tools in solving problems. Moral of the story is, Necessity is the mother of invention. Each of these expanded stories highlights the morals of hard work, perseverance, kindness, honesty, and resourcefulness in a way that captures the imagination of young minds, leaving a lasting impression of valuable life lessons. That's a wrap for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did making it. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button down below to join our amazing community. Also, remember to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest uploads. We love hearing from you, so drop a comment down below to let us know your thoughts, suggestions, or what you'd like to see next on Sunshine Stories for Kids. Thank you all for watching. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay tuned and take care. Bye for now.